What our stores need from us is a tight, collaborative, you know, high delivery, high connected, high communication environment. This environment enables that to happen. Already in just over five weeks of being here, I've seen people more in that five weeks than I saw them the entire last year. I'm really proud of the social hub area that we have where everybody can come together because our, our guys in the DC and, and the administration side of things have never really come together before. In our old DC, we had lunch rooms and, and cafe areas that they used to go to. And now everybody comes together in the same space and I can see people socialising together and getting to know one another in a way that they haven't done before. Planning's everything in a project of this size. Uh, without the degree of planning and upfront um, thought and rigour uh, and user testing to some degree, uh, the project wouldn't be what it is today. The property strategy for the development considers really two key aspects. One is our logistics network uh, and the centre of gravity to our stores. So every mile counts in a logistics network. Uh, so getting the DC in the right place is absolutely critical. While the project was underway, we realised that the expansion land we looked at the lease for 30 years and said already within the first 10 year cycle we can imagine needing that space and it became apparent that it would be less expensive to build from the beginning, notwithstanding the fact we then have the rent, uh, that it would be cheaper than at any future time to build that extension. So really it was about future proofing and insurance against the growth that we're enjoying uh, across the business. One thing we're really proud of with the building is it's five star green and that it, it's taken a serious approach to carbon. So as an entire organisation, we're on a committed journey to having zero impact on New Zealand's environment. So all the little things about the natural light, uh, the way it's heated, the way we use power here, the density with which people can be used and contained, all of those things contribute to it having a really nice low impact on the environment. The other thing is just aesthetically, it looks like it fits in an environment and it was designed to be here. Strong leadership um, and continuity are two of the key aspects. And you know, of course, we all know it and it's easy to say, but the right team. Uh, so initial planning with, with Simon and Sarah at RDT uh, really ensured we had the right people with the right focus. Uh, but that continuity of ownership from beginning to end of the project, make sure those little details, the necessary and the nice, uh, are captured and managed all the way through the project. I think the design, one of the best words I've heard to describe it so far is beautifully functional. And I think that's us. It's not ostentatious, it's not showy, it's not trying to be something we're not. We serve our stores and we serve our customers as New Zealanders, so the place needs to enable that. It's somewhere where particularly the ground floor is welcoming to anybody and it's got a buzz and an energy. And it sort of reminds you that it's a meeting place, a place where ideas are shared, where work's enabled, where collaboration occurs and where people are brought into our world to be part of what we're trying to do for New Zealanders.